virtual reality has been in the pipeline for years, right? Well, actually, it's been decades. And while some devices, in limited ways, have offered consumers a teasing glimpse of that long-promised transcendental immersive experience, nobody has quite pulled it off. But with Apple reportedly about to enter the arena with its long-awaited consumer VR device, all that could soon be about to change. So join us today as we strap on a pair and ask exactly what we can expect from Apple's VR headset. The first thing to get your head around is the fact that, for Apple at least, this kind of technology is actually nothing new. According to those rare and precious rumours that escape the tight-lipped Cupertino firm, Apple has been quietly beavering away at the problem of VR and its close cousin, Augmented Reality, or AR, for at least a decade now. Indeed, it's said that a secret Apple team numbering in the hundreds has been working tirelessly to clear those fiendish technical and aesthetic hurdles required to launch a virtual reality product that meets Apple's exacting standards. At the higher echelons of Apple's corporate hierarchy, chief hardware engineer Dan Riccio was reportedly moved into a new executive role overseeing VR and AR development within the company. And the firm certainly hasn't been shy of making acquisitions in the VR and AR space, buying up motion capture firm FaceShift and AR software startup Mateo in 2014 and facial recognition upstarts Emotion the following year. As recently as 2020, Apple also bought up Californian virtual reality developer NextVR. And they've even roped in AR and VR experts from the world of academia, with noteworthy hires including one Doug Bowman, a computer science professor at Virginia Tech and author of seminal text 3D User Interfaces Theory and Practice. In 2017, Apple made its commitment even clearer by launching ARKit, a platform designed to help developers make the most of the AR capabilities within Apple's existing suite of devices. And while you, the end user, wouldn't necessarily know that ARKit is at work, fun applications like Minecraft Earth are built entirely on ARKit's ability to use iPad or iPhone's existing cameras and motion sensors. So Apple technology can already comfortably recognize and virtually manipulate horizontal planes and walls in any given real-world space. So what's this headset actually going to be like? Reliable sources with access to internal documents report that Apple is currently working on two separate AR and VR products. The so-called Apple Glasses, an AR-only device about which precious little is known, won't be released until at least 2024, according to trusted Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo. But thrillingly, a so-called mixed reality headset configured to offer both VR and AR functionality could be in the shops as soon as 2022. Ming-Chi Kuo reckons this headset, which customers can expect to resemble a sleeker version of Facebook's Oculus Quest device, will incorporate no fewer than 15 cameras. Eight of those cameras will be used to offer an image-transmissive AR experience by capturing surroundings in nuanced depth. A further six will, reportedly, serve an innovative biometric system to monitor eye movements and expressions. And the final camera will apparently scan the immediate environment around the header, although details on this are, of course, sketchy. Analyst Quo claims his information is based on supply chain movements he's identified by looking into the activities of longtime Apple supplier Largan, a firm that will likely be integral to the ultimate manufacture of the device. In terms of screens, the headset will reportedly incorporate two high resolution 8K screens, which will help users focus on fine details like small typefaces, as well as helping them view real people standing both in front of and behind virtual objects in an AR scenario. This revolutionary suite of sensors and screens will draw processing horsepower from a newly developed chip which is said to pack even more oomph than Apple's celebrated M1, shipped in the 2020 generation of Mac computers. This seems likely to include a LiDAR, or light detection and ranging sensor as well. The headset's wraparound visor will make a point of seamlessly blocking out any peripheral vision, in order to stop light leaking into the field of vision and ruining the AR or VR effect. Some estimates predict this visor will also include an outward-facing screen, which could let the wearer display graphics or communicate with others in the vicinity. According to those in the know, the current prototype being worked on in Cupertino and just up the road at Hush Hush Apple Labs in Sunnyvale weigh in at somewhere between 200 and 300 grams. However, it's expected the final production version will tip the scales at a much leaner 100 to 200 grams. Opinion is divided as to whether the headset will be a wholly self-contained affair or if it might require a separate box, akin to a conventional desktop computer tower. The advantage of a separate box would be to help manage wireless comms and some of the heavy lifting processor-wise, whilst reducing some of the stubborn clunkiness on the visor itself. The headband that will hold the visor in place is, in itself, the subject of much speculation. One leading theory is that the headband will feature spatial audio technology, familiar to AirPods Pro customers that already offers a compelling surround sound-esque sonic experience. The headband, it's reckoned, might also be swapped out for an alternative, chunkier band that provides extended battery life on the go. And, Apple being Apple, the bands will no doubt come in an array of groovy colours. 
One particularly intriguing recent Apple patent has analysts excited. Imagine a pair of rings that users wear on their thumb and index fingers in order to manipulate objects or possibly menus in the AR or VR space. Pretty handy, eh? Devices that fit so snugly over customers' heads always run up against the challenge of users who need spectacles. Apple Watchers have speculated that this forthcoming headset could let such users insert custom prescription lenses into their headset over the VR screens. Apple may well even offer this service for free. Not that the device itself will be cheap. Estimates on price oscillate anywhere from $3,000 a pop to a much more modest $1,000 per unit. Early internal projections suggest Apple don't expect to sell millions, but a modest goal of $250,000 in the first year would help cover costs and foster that all-important word of mouth and FOMO cachet around the product. So in sum, the headset will, it's believed, incorporate 15 cameras, two 8K screens and a changeable headband that can play surround sound or beef up that all-important battery life according to taste. Maybe, at long last, AR and VR will actually become a reality. What do you think? Is Apple's new mixed reality headset about to usher in a new dawn of immersive entertainment? Or is it a clunky stopgap on the road to ever more elegant VR solutions? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to hit subscribe for more world-enhancing tech content.